Hello there, this is Roberto Matthews with another tip for you. Today is a bit of a long one, but a very important one. Earlier, uh, I had talked about how I used the Google AdSense in order to add um, coding to my Mobilize site. Now, <clears throat> the whole reason, if you watch that video, that I'm using my Mobilize, Mobilize uh AdSense extension is because I don't really want to buy the other extension that's here. I don't want to have to purchase this extension right here. Let's see, where is it? The code editor for $69. Um, because I usually try to edit in a whole bunch of different computers, and I really don't want to have to pay this if I really don't have to. So um, what I found online and it's really cool is <clears throat> a really cool editor that's completely free and I'll show you how to use it so let's go ahead and open up it's gonna be just type in Delta Pi or you can put in uh, Delta Pi code editor and then you go to Delta Pi software but let's just start with one here so here's the Delta Pi code editor, and it's a really cool editor. Uh, it allows you to edit any of these, um, any of the code. It's really pretty cool. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and download this. Okay, so just in case you didn't know how to install a third-party extension it's really quite simple you just go to extensions and once your extensions load up you're gonna click on import right here so when you click on import it brings up uh, your download folder you go to Delta Pi and say open now it's just telling you that this is an unknown source so you want to import anyway and there you go it's in your block at the bottom here Oop. and there's your Delta Pi code editor okay once you click back it's gonna go ahead and restart and now we're able to edit whatever we need to edit so let's go ahead and uh, edit this one right here Okay, actually, before we edit, let's go ahead and show you how I'm going to add some code. So we're going to go ahead and go to our extensions here. Here's our code editor. We're going to go here and add the code editor. Here it is right here. And all you have to do really is click right here to edit. So notice that all the other ones also have an edit code. So once you add it once to your site, to the site, you can actually edit any of the other uh, um, set settings. So let's go ahead and um, add one right here, and then I'll show you how to edit the other ones. So let's go ahead and edit. So what we're going to do here is we're going to press the edit button. Now the only thing that I found that was a little bit of an issue is that this, the CSS is under JSON format and even if I did the custom CSS it really doesn't work too well so you have to use it as a JSON format uh, we're not going to worry about that right now okay so what I've done is I've gone to uh, to code pen and entered all the information because I really love this editor and it allows me to edit really quickly so we're gonna go ahead here and press copy we're gonna go to the code editor here and press paste and then we're gonna say check and as you can see we have our pictures in there now in the next video I'm gonna show you how you can manipulate this using CSS